Fruits of Buddha Buddha, the journey of Siddhartha Gautama and the foundation of Buddhism. The Buddha, born as Siddhartha Gautama in the 6th century BCE in ancient India, modern-day Nepal, is revered as the founder of Buddhism. Through his quest for understanding and self-realization, he uncovered insights into the nature of suffering and the path to liberation, laying the foundations of one of the world's oldest and most practiced religions. His teachings, emphasizing compassion, mindfulness, and wisdom, continue to resonate globally, offering guidance on the path to inner peace and enlightenment. Early Life and Quest for Truth Siddhartha Gautama was born into a royal family in the Shakya kingdom. His father, King Suddhodana, sought to shield him from the harsh realities of the world by surrounding him with comfort, luxury, and pleasure. According to Buddhist tradition, a prophecy foretold that Siddhartha would either become a great king or a spiritual leader. Hoping to see his son follow the path of a ruler, Suddhodana kept Siddhartha secluded within the palace walls. However, at the age of 29, Siddhartha ventured outside the palace and encountered what have since become known as the Four Sights, an old man, a sick person, a corpse, and a wandering ascetic. The first three sights revealed to him the unavoidable truths of aging, illness, and death, while the fourth presented a possible escape from suffering through spiritual renunciation. These encounters awakened Siddhartha to the impermanent and fragile nature of life and inspired him to leave his family and royal life to seek answers to life's fundamental questions. The Path to Enlightenment Siddhartha adopted a life of extreme asceticism and spent years practicing intense self-discipline in his pursuit of spiritual liberation. He joined a group of ascetics and engaged in severe fasting, meditation, and deprivation, hoping that by denying his physical body, he could find spiritual awakening. However, after nearly starving himself and enduring intense hardship, he realized that such extremes only weakened him without bringing clarity or liberation. This led to his famous middle way insight the realization that true enlightenment could not be achieved through indulgence or self-denial but rather by finding a balanced approach. Abandoning asceticism, he accepted a simple meal that revived his strength and continued his meditation. Siddhartha then sat beneath the Bodhi tree, tree of enlightenment, in Bodh Gaya, India, vowing not to rise until he discovered the truth. After days of deep meditation, Siddhartha experienced a profound awakening, gaining insights into the nature of existence, the causes of suffering, and the means to overcome it. Through this experience, he became the Buddha, meaning the awakened one. He understood that suffering is inherent to life, yet liberation from it is possible through self-awareness, ethical conduct, and mental discipline. Core Teachings of the Buddha the Buddha's teachings form the basis of Buddhism and focus on the path to alleviate human suffering. Central to his teachings are the Four Noble Truths and the Eightfold Path, which offer a blueprint for overcoming suffering and achieving nirvana, a state of ultimate peace and liberation. The Four Noble Truths The Four Noble Truths are the foundational principles of Buddhism. Dukkha Suffering life inherently involves suffering, dissatisfaction, or unsatisfactoriness. Birth, aging, sickness, and death, as well as emotional pain, are unavoidable aspects of existence. Samudaya, origin of suffering Suffering arises from desire, attachment, and ignorance. Our cravings for pleasure, material possessions, and control, along with our aversion to discomfort, keep us trapped in a cycle of suffering. Nara, cessation of suffering liberation from suffering is possible by letting go of attachment and desire. Through insight and discipline, we can end the cycle of suffering and attain a state of freedom. Maga, path to the cessation of suffering The Eightfold Path provides a practical guide to ending suffering and achieving nirvana, which is a state of liberation from the cycle of birth and death, samsara. The Eightfold Path The Eightfold Path, also known as the Middle Way, is a set of ethical and mental guidelines that lead to the cessation of suffering. The path consists of the following elements, often divided into three main categories. Wisdom, Prajna Right Understanding, Comprehending the Four Noble Truths and the Nature of Reality. Right Thought, 
cultivating thoughts of kindness, compassion, and renunciation. Ethical conduct, seal a right speech, speaking truthfully, avoiding lies, gossip, and harmful words. Right action, engaging in actions that are morally sound, avoiding harm to others, theft, and immoral behavior. Right livelihood, pursuing an occupation that does not harm others or exploit resources. Mental discipline, samadhi right effort, cultivating positive states of mind and avoiding negative thoughts. Right mindfulness, being fully aware and present in each moment, observing thoughts and feelings without attachment. Right concentration, developing deep mental focus through meditation, leading to clarity and insight. The Eightfold Path offers a practical guide for ethical living, mental clarity, and spiritual liberation, providing a way to transform one's life and reduce suffering. The Spread of Buddhism Following his enlightenment, the Buddha dedicated the rest of his life to teaching and sharing his insights. He traveled across northern India, gathering disciples and forming a community of followers known as the Sangha. His teachings attracted people from all walks of life nobles, merchants, outcasts, and seekers alike. The Buddha emphasized that his teachings were accessible to everyone, regardless of caste or social status. Buddhism began to spread across Asia following the Buddha's death, Parinirvana, propelled by his disciples and later supported by rulers who adopted his teachings. King Ashoka of the Maurya Empire, 304 to 232 BCE, played a significant role in promoting Buddhism throughout India and beyond, sending missionaries to neighboring regions and supporting the construction of monasteries, stupas, and educational centers. Buddhism reached Sri Lanka, Southeast Asia, China, Korea, and Japan, adapting to local cultures and giving rise to various branches, such as Theravada, Mahayana, and Vajrayana Buddhism. Major Branches of Buddhism Buddhism evolved into three main branches, each with unique interpretations of the Buddha's teachings. Theravada Buddhism, considered the oldest and most traditional form, Theravada focuses on the Pali Canon, emphasizing individual meditation and personal enlightenment. Predominant in countries like Sri Lanka, Thailand, Myanmar, and Laos, it centers on the figure of the Buddha as a human teacher rather than a deity. Mahayana Buddhism, Mahayana developed in northern India and spread to China, Korea, and Japan. This branch incorporates additional scriptures, emphasizes compassion for all beings, and includes the ideal of the Bodhisattva an enlightened being who forgoes nirvana to help others achieve liberation. Mahayana practices are often more diverse and include Zen, Pure Land, and Tibetan Buddhism. Vajrayana Buddhism, Vajrayana, or Tantric Buddhism, incorporates esoteric practices aimed at rapid enlightenment and is prominent in Tibet, Bhutan, and Mongolia. This branch emphasizes rituals, mantras, and meditation on mandalas, as well as a strong relationship between teacher and disciple. Legacy and Modern Relevance The Buddha's teachings continue to inspire individuals worldwide. His ideas on mindfulness, compassion, and ethical living have influenced fields ranging from psychology to business ethics. Mindfulness meditation, rooted in Buddhist practice, has become popular in secular contexts as a tool for stress reduction and mental well-being. Buddhism's emphasis on impermanence and interconnectedness resonates with ecological and ethical issues today, encouraging a respect for life and a reduction of material desires. The concept of compassion, or karuna, underscores the importance of empathy and social responsibility, advocating for a world where people live in harmony with one another and with the environment. Furthermore, Buddhist teachings on inner peace and nonviolence offer powerful antidotes to modern-day issues such as conflict, anxiety, and consumerism. The Buddha's message encourages individuals to find peace within themselves and contribute to the world around them with kindness and mindfulness. Key Accomplishments of Buddha Founded Buddhism Established a major world religion emphasizing wisdom, compassion, and enlightenment. Taught Four Noble Truths Identified the nature of suffering and the path to liberation. Life is marked by suffering. Suffering arises from desire. Suffering can be overcome. The Eightfold Path Leads to Enlightenment. 
established eightfold path, guided followers toward right understanding, right intention, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, right concentration, promoted nonviolence, ahimsa taught compassion, tolerance, and harmlessness toward all living beings, created Sangha community, founded a community of monks, nuns, and lay followers dedicated to spiritual growth, support, and service. Conclusion Siddhartha Gautama, the Buddha, was a spiritual leader who founded Buddhism. His teachings emphasize the Four Noble Truths and the Noble Eightfold Path, which aim to end suffering and achieve enlightenment. The Buddha's teachings have had a profound impact on the spiritual and philosophical traditions of East Asia and beyond. His emphasis on compassion, mindfulness, and the impermanence of all things continues to inspire and guide millions of people around the world. The Buddha's life and teachings continue to serve as a guiding light for those seeking to understand and alleviate suffering. His insights into the nature of existence offer a timeless path to wisdom, compassion, and inner peace. The simplicity of the Four Noble Truths and the Eightfold Path provides profound guidance on living a balanced life, while the Buddha's emphasis on compassion and understanding offers a blueprint for creating a more harmonious and compassionate world. Buddhism's reach across continents and cultures underscores the universal appeal of the Buddha's message, transcending time and geography. His teachings remain as relevant today as they were over two millennia ago, offering solace and inspiration for people in their quest for meaning, balance, and inner freedom. In the Buddha's legacy, we find a philosophy that embraces all life with an open heart, an open mind, and a spirit of boundless compassion.